Hello, my brothers and sisters of the Order. Welcome back to the Order. I'm Kofi Templar, and welcome to the 14th Century Galvaglass Mobile video. So, yeah, we finally got into a how to video on the Galvaglass Mobiles of the 14th century. So, what were they, you might ask? Well, as you can tell, the Galvaglass Mobiles were, uh, well, nobles, but how did they acquire that status? They acquired the status from the years of service, especially from their grandfathers or their fathers, who pretty much were either served with a Scottish or Irish no noble lords. Now, in doing so, they ended up gaining massive amounts of wealth, and ended up actually even acquiring various lands in areas of modern-day Northern Ireland. And that's right, the, these people would even be called the Ulsterians, as they would sometimes be known as, or the Lords of Ulster. They were also actually became lords in parts of Scotland, where they would even acquire various equipment. Now, it is stated though, the Galagos nobles of this fucking period were, well, not all going to look like this. As you can understand my point, many of the Galagos nobles didn't actually wear much plate. As there are as many accounts that stated they, only those that could afford it could wear it. And the fact is, many Galagos nobles only could actually afford uh, regular style gauntlets, which you will soon see me wear, which are just regular gloves. As well, the helmets they were wearing were mostly adequate to this design. It's actually stated that they would wear some form of helmet with aventail. Now, does this mean bassinets? We don't know. However, they would also wear some form of arm guard like this. Now, sometimes it would have been enough splitted arm guards, like that of this design, so, yeah. Now, there are accounts of them also wearing these elbow protections to prevent somebody from, well, impacting their elbow. Now, though, this does restrict my movement a little, because this is the early era of plate armor, so early plate does have a problem uh, restricting the movement. But however, my movement with the axe still actually plays through to its form. <laughs> now I want to put this out here also. Many people don't understand what the Galaglass Nobles look like. Well, uh, to any of y'all who've never heard of the Galaglass Nobles, that's probably because most people don't realize is that these guys fought in ranks with their troops. However, if they were commanding their military forces from, say, uh, outside of the battlefield or whatever, like they were on top of a hill, they would actually be seen wearing a cloak, either of wool, uh, fur, or something like that. We don't have much evidence to state of what it was. All we know is some sort of cloak. Now, there is evidence also that they also wore, the reason I say wore, is because they ended up using something like this. War club. However, they wouldn't use this war club like that of hitting their opponent. Now there is a count of them using that, but not to that extent, as they actually used it as a form of showmanship to show off, to say, here I am, men, fight with me. So yeah. So yeah, you'll see me wearing this armor. Now I hear many people already asking, oh but tomorrow, what about the other equipment? What about the Loch de Hammer? Well, it's the thing, that is of the, mostly of the very late, mid to late, uh, 14th century, and most people don't exactly wear that for a matter of reasons, because one reason being it was expensive, two to the back was also, that's more than the uh, 15th century, so when we did the 15th century Galaglass, maybe I'll end up getting into that equipment, because there is accounts that stated that they did use it, there is accounts that say that they did not use it. So, yeah, it varies. But as well, you also see me having my sword on me. But we will switch out from gauntlets and such and equipment on my arms to show you all if they could afford this type of equipment or not. But let's get right into the video, shall we?
summer heat coming down on me. Woo. Yeah. This is almost about 100 degrees out here, and I'm wearing all this stuff, so yeah. The lengths I go to to educate y'all. So, yeah. As you can see, I gave up certain equipment every once in a while. I gave up my first, my arm guards, and my level guards, then my golf clubs. And now, as I said, it depended on their weapon status. Some people could afford the gauntlets. The problem is, most of the time they couldn't because this would have been the cheapest option. The regular brown gloves, as they would. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, most of the time they could only afford certain equipment that which they can manufacture. In fact, it would be very costly. Even though the noble lords could afford it, most preferred the male mitten gauntlets with a uh, splitted plate along the arms. In fact, that was actually the most normal uh, type of kind of equipment that would have been used during the time of the early 14th century. That equipment right there is somewhere from the mid to late uh, 14th century, so yeah. Now, though, as I said, wearing this equipment is not that easy because it evolved throughout the time, so we can't exactly get a good picture on the 14th century on the Galagos. It's one, that's when armor started to evolve in such a rapid way that it changed the battlefield. So, yeah, it depended pretty much on the weapon status of the user. But, yeah. This is also when the time the Galaglass battle axe started to change, and by the time of the 15th century, we get the normal style Galaglass battle axe. Now, most you all saw I was not using the war club as I was shown. That's because, as I stated before, this is actually meant as a status symbol, but they could use it in order to thrash a couple of heads, especially if they lost their axe. So, yeah. <laughs> but, what do y'all think? Do you think the 14th century gallo glass are a sad forgotten reminder of our past? Or do you think they are a point in history that we need to remember? Let me know in the comments below of what warrior in history you all want me to cover next. And if y'all have any ideas on various gallo glass equipment you want me to look up, please let me know in the comments below. As well, y'all, I will leave links down below in the description on where you can get this set of equipment that I was using. Anyways guys, like and subscribe for more, as well click the bell button for notifications. And as well, also check out Thing Brain right now. He's needing our help incredibly. Every little bit helps. I will leave a link down below where you can actually help him out at. Anyways guys, it's been Celtic Templar. Hope to see y'all in the next one. Mm -hmm.